inspiration and I'm here for your 2019, July 2019 general reading. Uh, this is for sun, moon, and rising. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Please, as you're going through this video, consider liking and subscribing. And here we go, right into the reading. Coming towards you, Leo, we're using the, the Star Child Tarot. Coming towards you, the energy I have is the Three of Wands. So um, things are definitely looking up for you, most definitely. Um, I've got an overall energy this month of the King of Crystals, so expect money um, to kind of loosen up a little bit. Um, there may be a little confusion with the Seven of Cups as well. Um, coming in and the six of swords. So I do feel like this is really a month where we're going to have to begin to look at how we have uh, viewed money in the past, how we viewed our work, uh, how we viewed entrepreneurship, um, in order that we can prepare for abundance is attempting to come our way. It's like I kind of feel with some meals that you're blocking your own blessing, right? You're blocking your own abundance from coming. Um, but it's really, it's there, okay? Because in July, by the end of July, right, your month starts, your your season starts. So with the Three of Wands, I feel like you've got some really good, like on the horizon, you feel things are really going well. And with the Ace of Wands, you're ready for a new start, Leo. Like, this is really what you want, right? You're ready, ready, ready for a brand new start. Um... I would say really uh, tap into these eclipse energies as they are. The solar eclipse just passed, so it was a great time to um, hone in and focus in on the future that you really want. Um, the the um, and and doing things that fulfill you spiritually. As this lunar eclipse approaches, it's going to very much. illuminate your own inner emotions and things that have to be dealt with things that need to be healed um insecurities like you know in certain areas but it's for a purpose so that those things can get healed and you can move forward and really because i see businesses i see promotions i see new jobs and I see this brand new wonderful start for you with the Ace of Wands. Lots of great fire energy for you. And you should be feeding off of it. But for some reason, you're just, you just have not, you know, been happy with it. But you are bringing in King of Wands energy, okay? Um, this is a lot of your energy. Um, could also be Sagittarian energy. Again, big ideas, right? Um, with the Seven of Wands, uh, but you're going to have to fight for it. And... Uh, you're blocking yourself is really what I'm hearing. Uh, it may appear, you may want to say, well, other people are blocking me from what I really, truly want. Maybe you are not meant to have it. Maybe it's not what you're supposed to have. And I do feel like this time that we're in right now with this, Cap this Cancer Capricorn axis is making is is forcing the entire zodiac to really take a look inward and say what is it i truly do want out of life what are my true desires not what everyone expects for me to be but what um you know my true life purpose and what spirit really wants me to do and to be yeah it's time with the eight of cups to walk away from the old way of doing things you've got to leave those those behind and I think that you want to make the change for some of you it's just been very difficult because you're being so scared. so try try very hard this month um, and not just try to right be sure that you are really checking your own motivations be sure you're checking yourself be sure that uh, you're not just kind of causing wreaking havoc and whatnot okay like really take time um, and examine why you, examine why you're doing some of the things that you're doing, why you feel some of the ways that you feel with other, as far as other people are concerned, um, your job, your career, and why you're feeling this way towards yourself. Really examine that and really sit in your uh, royalty. 
You're a powerful, powerful, and very strong sign, Leo. Tap into your inner strength. It's time to do that and not be the cowardly lion, but be the brave one. What could be a problem for you? And here we have self-esteem again. Nine of Cups energy. That it could be an obstacle for you because you're so accustomed to, some have grown accustomed to really finding your worth in uh, how other people view you and being a people pleaser. And here we have the Knight of Wands. A lot of fire energy here. Leo, this is really a month as it is for everyone, but it, this is really a month for you to get some stuff started. Get some stuff started, get some stuff cleared out. Um, receiving uh, the ability messages to come up and come into your life quickly and I feel like you want to but I'm also feeling like with this night of wands what's happening here is you start it but you don't stick with it and because you start it and don't stick with it or you start it and you don't put your all towards it that causes issue and then now you're feeling you're beginning to feel like are you ever going to get that ten of cups life are you ever going to get wish fulfillment can you have it all the job or the career or the business, the family and the lover. And if you don't stay on one course and if you're not real with yourself about whether or not you're putting 150% into it, you're not going to be able, you can't waver, right? What's going to help you is uh, overcome is the energy of the moon, okay? Piscean energy, the dreaminess, the following your intuition, the following your gut, okay? The belief in yourself that all things are possible and you are very well. And here's the King of Pentacles again. You got to believe and follow your intuition towards the abundance. You have got to believe and follow your intuition towards the abundance. The abundance is there and your spirit knows how to get to it. But if you're not going to listen to it, right, your spirit is telling you you're wonderful, wonderfully and beautifully or handsomely made. You know, you have all things that you need within you in order to really um, be that um, be that abundant being, right? But you've got, but there are some decisions that you're going to have to make and what's going to help you overcome this is coming out of a time of indecision of really balancing out the information you're getting and um, finally choosing a road you got to choose a lane and stay in it and ride it out and when even if it gets bumpy even if that road gets bumpy even if there's potholes and all of this you've got to get there and you've got to stay in your lane okay we have the justice card finally as the um, ad, uh, advice or outcome. That's uh, very Libra energy. And here we have the Emperor with Aries. Listen, with the justice card, the scales always have to be balanced. Relationships need to be balanced, that sort of thing. You need to find the balance between this like need to be seen and please other people and taking care of your own needs. You got to find this balance of, um, I know these are things that I wanted so fixed in your ways that you're not moving forward. And I do believe that's why this fire is here. Like there's a fire being lit under your tushy and to not be so darn stubborn and just stuck. Like I know that for some of you, your life hasn't looked the way that you intended for it to look. But guess what, boo boo? Things change, right? Here we have the Six of Cups. You're doing a whole lot of reminiscing about the past. And yeah, the past was fantastic. And there could be family members that are talking to you and telling you, hey, you got to really like step up to the plate or it's time for you to do something new, right? Um, with the Seven of Swords, you feel like um, something has been stolen from you. And I feel this is the thing. It's like you got this idealistic eye, uh, uh, view, point of view on how you want life to be and it's not going that way so you're kind of looking for potentially some of you if this doesn't resonate then you know check your uh, moon and your rising as i put them up but uh in certain areas of your life you feel like it's been stolen from you um and i'm hearing nobody owes you anything 
because your abundance was always within and not and 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 stopping this looking outward right not only stopping looking outward but know that if you're not putting as much into a situation as you're trying to get out of it it's out of balance so it's never going to prosper if you're putting more into a situation than you're getting this person really is stealing cheating whatever from you it's never going to prosper there has to be balance in order for it to work it doesn't work without balance it does not work without balance it does not work without you putting in the effort and then them um, also putting in the effort yeah and finally with the chariot um, cancerian energy you gotta it, it's time to get off the schneid it's time to get off of your tush it's time to get off of the sidelines it's time to stop with the woe is me it's time to stop with all of that and it's time to say this is what I want I'm going after it you know as long as it's not running over somebody else's free will right um, this is what I want I'm going after it and this is really my life purpose I understand or or at least it gets me out of the situation I'm in right now because you're not gonna gain abundance by sitting stagnant in one place you have to move you know abundance energy flows energy flows no matter what so you have to move with these energies as they are now and this is a wonderful time if you're spiritually inclined to really gain you know really start a spiritual business and endeavor and and one that will prosper eventually you have to put in the work you gotta you right you gotta really put in the work but it's worth it at the end um, it's a time to follow your intuition as far as starting a business, time to, to follow your intuition as far as getting a new job, time to follow your intuition as far as getting a promotion, like how to get it and work with people. But you got to have this, the quiet as it's kept, your self-esteem is, is not good and you really are pretending that it's much better than what it is and it's okay, but heal. Word for the day is heal. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you now. Um, guys, if you want to work with me, um, I've got some specials going on. I've got a birthday special. You can spend an hour with me either for energy clear, clean, cleansing, you know, Reiki healing, um, or um, intuitive readings um, for $51. It's typically $100, and that's $51 from now until July 16th. Also, I have tarot classes starting on July the 20th. There's a little spot right here that will tell you about that. And uh, there's other ways to work with me as well. All that information is down below in the description box. I really, really do appreciate you being here with me. And please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And don't forget to hit that bell. Peace, love, blessings, and joy. Be honest with you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you. Namaste. Bye-bye. Our five-week tarot classes start on July the 20th. Go to www.heartofinspiration.net to register now.